up next, Sarah, we're going to take you to a new eatery in Scottsdale that promises a classic American menu made from scratch. But Scott, I love the name of this place. How about the White Chocolate Grill? Awesome. Well, you're looking at how this place got its name, the White Chocolate Grill, and you can't uh, have a meal there without having something with white chocolate at the end. Scott, save the dessert. All right, I'll try. This is Bobby Fitzgerald, uh, who is, now, what are you? Are you one of the partners, the owner, I'm the manager? I'm a co-counting partner, yes. We own a couple restaurants. This is our first white chocolate grill, though. How fun. Yeah, is it fun to own your own place? <laughs> it is, it is. It's sometimes it owns you like any other business I imagine. But the name came from uh, just two of our desserts actually. We built the whole restaurant around the white chocolate brownie which I have here as well as the uh, white chocolate banana cream pie which didn't transport so well so I was able to bring it. <laughs> we'll forgive you because you brought some good stuff and I know uh, Brad the other day tried that. Is that creme brulee? It is. That also is a white chocolate creme, oh, oh creme brulee and next to that is actually a flourless chocolate souffle cake for the purist. That's for the chocolate purist actually. It's, you know it's funny I was just going to say I was telling you I love white chocolate over all types of chocolate. Well, then we're your place. That's I know you are. No <laughs> doubt about that. I, in fact, you could make a steak and put white chocolate on that. I'd be all, we, <laughs> we haven't all done that, that, but we, we do have a blue cheese crusted filet, which is uh, very popular thus far. Which is right here. Excellent. How do you decide what kind of menu items? Do you taste a lot of things and then uh, gather kind of a committee around to decide what, what's good? Well, actually, in this restaurant, my partner and I decided to build a restaurant with the food that we love to eat. So this is just an honest American restaurant, a live hardwood burning grill or rotisserie. We make everything from scratch in the restaurant. And then a couple of really nice white chocolate desserts to complement the offering. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other things that you brought. I know uh, Tommy is focusing on Scott eating meat. This is just <laughs> terrible. I can't do this anymore. A couple, a couple of real popular items we have here the, uh, is actually the uh, filet mignon cob salad. That's actually a nice grill, size. Yeah, we grill filet mignon to order. Toss it in a bed of greens in a red Zimbandel vinaigrette. Looks great. Excellent, excellent item. Uh, the couscous. Yeah, it's an Israeli couscous. It's a, it's a larger grain of a couscous tossed in a uh, champagne vinaigrette, actually, with fresh vegetables in there, pistachios. Ooh. It's excellent. Have to try that. Hop over to our, uh, our family recipe, which is the tomato gin soup. It's, uh, it's a family res recipe of my partner's, and uh, we finish it off. We actually cook it to order, and we finish it with a quarter ounce of uh, Tangeray gin. You actually have to be 21 years of age to really? order it. <laughs> That's pretty clever. I like that. Yeah. Okay, where are you located? We're at the corner of uh, Scottsdale Road and Mayo Boulevard in the Scottsdale 101 Center. It's that large shopping center where the Seneca Pre Movie Theater is. That place is growing. Have you been it out really, there lately, Yeah, Absolutely, yeah, it is. You know what I love doing about cooking segments with Tara? She's so inquisitive, it allows me lots of time <laughs> to eat. I don't have to ask one How question. How is it? How is it? Oh, this is so good. And it's the, the, the farther you get down to the bottom, the more moist it is. So, so, Bobby, you opened officially when? We opened yesterday. I'm okay. sorry, Monday we opened. Last week we did uh, some practice dinners. We were able to raise about $5,000 for the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Scottsdale. We were real happy That's about great. that. You know, it's interesting reading your bios of all the uh, of all the co-owners. Everyone comes from such a huge background of the different restaurants in the Valley. You kind of take what you get from each place and, and bring it to your place. Absolutely. And yeah, we've got a lot of experience at the table. Well, it's called the White Chocolate Grill. We've got the information on our hotline if uh, you want to head out there. They are open for business. Scott, just keep eating. I'm sorry. But you do have in fact, you know, I just keep eating and I'll do this next tea. Yeah, okay. Bobby, thank you. Good luck with thank it. Thank you. We thank appreciate you. it. We'll be right back. Lots more coming up on a Good Day Arizona when Scott finishes.